Yo, what's up guys? SMP4 here. Today I have a pretty good match for you. It's um, and it's not pretty good, but it's pretty funny. It's a one v three against three random noobs that I met on E. And yeah, this goes so. Uh, Tio was um, I don't think he was a super noob, but I could tell that he was quite new to the game. But he wasn't that bad. He picked um Kronos. And then blue here picked Kronos as well, and red here is four. I think this guy was the worst noob. Anyways, I decided to go raw because, I mean, it's 1v3 and I needed a population from the mercenaries. Or at least I thought I would. So right now I'm just doing typical build order with raw, 5 and food, 3 and gold, etc. Obviously, I get hunting dogs. As for the teal player, I mean, I need to spend on his first village on food, but he's not gone hunting dogs. That's quite suboptimal. Same for the blue. Oh, where's his second village going? Okay, it's going on food. And a red player here. So he sent his starting villagers on cold and he's hunting. Oh man, I hope he makes an ox cart for this. Okay, there you go. Yeah, for the relics on the map, there's um Pelt of Argus. It's decent, but it won't really matter that much. Um, the villager hit point relic, that's actually quite good. Especially for him because if I cast Locust on him, it'll make his villagers more survivable and less prone to raids. The monkey head, this is quite a shit relic, so I didn't bother picking that up and this which is quite shit. As you can see the map um it's watering call. Say that my map is quite shit to be honest, if they were decent they could rush this gold mine and my town centre doesn't really secure <laughs> oh shit <laughs> this guy just made them a minute too, he's already warning his base up ok this guy is a super new this yeah you shouldn't do this, it's not good so we're a blue player, he's got his um, oracles in formation you know, they're keeping an eye out for him. Oh, he, oh he, his house is all in one corner. He's making him a city or something. Also, I forgot to mention this, but um, the map was revealed because the host was a noob and he asked to reveal the map. And also, it's conquest, so no titans or wonders or anything. So. I can't really cheese it and wall chip on the to win this, I need to actually defeat them. So I <laughs> our two players have done the same thing around this town center. Um, at least they won't get housed anytime soon, so I mean Yeah This guy isn't making any villages. Looks like he forgot to put it on auto queue. And Great. for me, I'm just, you know, trying to advance. I think I scuffed the build order a little bit, but it is what it is. So, my game plan here is to um, grab the fast 2 TC, because you know, they have three town centers on me and I want to close that villager gap and then I want to um, go faster rogue and you know, start attacking these guys maybe I can take out one of them out of the game quite fast that'd be good for me Yeah, there's villagers on auto queue. 
Yeah, this village is level 1 CP. Yeah, I'd definitely say these players are noobs and Fred is probably the newest. Um, yeah. It's, you shouldn't have that few villagers on uh, resources. You should just keep auto queuing them like blue and teal. advancing soon. Oh no. Let's check. I mean, you can probably advance after this next villager. It's hunting quite a lot. And Blue has also started um, walling up his map. Which, against Egypt, it doesn't really make sense because you don't really raid. And also it is a huge distance bro. Like, this wall is it's a, ro it's a meme where right? they're roleplaying. It's not. Oh, yeah, I advanced. Yeah, so I'm just grabbing a town center and grabbing Shadoof. Oh, my mouse switched. So, from my point of view, Oh shit, that guy took the monkey relic, which, you know, I said it was useless. And he, I think he has a hero oracle, just going around correct, collecting these relics. Surprisingly, red advanced the quickest out of all of these. When I saw um, red advance, I was actually quite worried, you know, because, I mean, even though it's quite slow for a Norse, I thought that he might do some shenanigans later on. So right now I'm thinking in terms of target, I probably want to attack Teal while messing with Red with some rock drops. And here I press rain and, you know, I have some idle time which is suboptimal, but, you know, fast drop. Teal here is grabbing a town center, which actually is quite a good thing to do. You know, you're doubling your villager output, you have more resources, you can make more army. So, I can definitely tell that Teal is probably the best player out of these. Uh, and, you know, when I, when I saw this town center go up at the time, I was thinking, oh shit, I need to finish this guy fast, or, you know, he might be in trouble later on when he's fully beamed up. Pigs are just skeleton. See what our red player is doing. Okay, so he's back to producing villages at least. Oh no, he just made a knock scot. No. He's making hers here. Interesting. <laughs> Those are two dead lines. These villagers are warriors. Oh, you got the upgrade. Okay. Even though I said red is probably the worst here, yeah, I mean, unlike these two, he got upgrades, so. You know. Towels coming up. This guy's making a barracks and an armory. Yeah. This map is fully walled up, you might see it. Oracle relic holding that animation is so funny. Excited about breakers and back holding that thing. Oh man. There's a wall of houses. Yeah, so with houses in general you want to like build them around towels, you know, to protect them. And I've advanced here and I've made two barracks. So for those who don't know, in extended edition you can make um Kopesh and they're actually quite OP I'd say. You know, they outtrade pretty much any unit in terms of cost efficiency. 
and they're also fast as fuck. So I made a fool with Mignol, planning to attack Teal, get him out the game as fast as possible. You know, because it looks like Teal's my only competition right now in terms of score. And my rock is just going over to red. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, this guy is really fast. And yeah, I found the Mongol and let's start reading him. It's a red hill. At the time, I thought it wasn't a good locus, but I realize now that it's actually quite brutal because. I mean, the sky does not make villages for some reason. Um, I'm pretty much just killing everything he has. Yeah, if you guys don't know, um, rock dropping is really OP against Norse because they have no way to deal with this rock pretty much. And you can just snipe vill villager kills. It's a little bit cheesy, but it is what it is. And the sky made these robots all time tons. Or raw tomatons. No, I got the raw mod because I'm playing raw. Forward siege. You know, finish this guy as fast as possible. Because in my head right now, I'm on a time to quickly steamroll teal. And then I'll deal with these two later. Man, these units are really strong. They just don't die, and they repair themselves and, and come back from death. So. Very strong. Yeah, some more rock crates. Oh man. It's down to 12 villages. Yeah, it's really not good. Into you. Look at these guys on the beach. Shank like 20 people is still not dying. Curious how much resources he has. Okay, so he has a lot of gold. Looks like he's slightly mismacroed. This is spiderless, but I killed. Oh, I didn't kill that one, I guess. Yeah, so the siege tiles are coming in, but. You know, he was quite annoying. He made, you know, he made this hero villager to um, snipe the siege tower. If you guys don't know, um, citizens have a bonus damage against siege, so yeah, this thing is melting. But I sniped it down. And my rock is still patrolling, trying to get some villager snipes on red. You know, you need to be multitasking. Same time, I'm starting to expand Grab Tunnel Centers, and here I found them on board again. Oh, that's two villager kills. Three. And once he brings the houses over, I just get back in the rock. Oh man, the sky is at. 17 villages is really not good. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm starting to roll through too. I wonder what Blue's doing. Phoenix, this is the host. So he has an army over here, but looks like he didn't bring it over to Teal. Yeah, he really should be helping his teammate out here, but 
No, he's protecting the zombies. Hey, did he just make a towel? How many towels does he have? Hey, he made a towel. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. 434. Yeah, at this point, Teal is um, getting wrecked. Snipes, I'm throwing X one here. Yeah, man, these robots are super annoying. They just don't die and do so much damage. They still might push a decent amount. But I'm up Horus now, and I'll probably tornado you. Let me too. At this point, I start making priests because. This guy just has too many robots, you need heroes to kill them. Quite newbie of me to do. Okay, that's fixed now. I wonder if these guys have gone eco ops. So, Teal. Yeah, he's got the fast levels. Blue hasn't. Yeah, and red. Funny enough, has more eco ops than blue. Blue's grabbing his town center. Oh no, these spiders are brutal. And you sent his own spiders here too. And Blue's making Teal's making his last stand here. But he's gonna get horrors soon. All his villages are in this corner. His escape route is cut off. Unless he makes a dock or something and escapes to Blue's base. Yeah, he should make a dock and, you know, just run away because he's not really going to be able to stop this push. Especially now that I'm up Horus. I was going to um, Horus Red initially, but my rock died. And at that point, I thought, fuck it. I'll um, cast Horus on this guy. Yeah, so here it is. Yeah, so it didn't destroy the town center, but you know, it's pretty low at this point, and I can just start destroying it. And at this point, I'll just start speeding up because Teal is dead. Yeah, it is my priest army because I thought he had more robots. And at this point, it's just clean up for me, you know, getting that control of urban town centers. Spreading over the map at this point. Man, when I saw this, I laughed. It was, you know, it's quite funny. All his army, I mean, his village is in just one spot. And yeah, it's going to be a massacre. But these guys are going to die. These anti villages are tanky as fuck, though. Because they're free and one compared to normal villages. The hero villager. Oh, he just shoved that. Okay. These guys threw rocks at them. Uh, 
Yeah, no, he's migrating. It's a mass migration. Look at that, bro. His villager just killed a catapult. Yeah, it's all it's grabbing a town center. Yeah, no way I'm in that slide. Here I'm setting up a base in front of Red, planning to attack him next. Yeah, at this point I think it's pretty much over, but oh man, Blue has an army. And I'm too thinly spread to deal with it right now. And there's a high pyramid. Yeah, so I'm thinking I can't let these villagers escape. Because, you know, she might just end up making a comeback in Blue's base. So, I think I sent some Kopesh after. These Kopesh have a bonus against villagers. They're really strong, actually. Actually, I thought um, Tio resigned here, but this is his last villager. And it just died. Yeah. Let me just double check. Oh, let's see, pause. Yeah, he has nothing left. Okay, that's, uh, <laughs> I thought he resigned, but he just got defeated. That's funny. He had a lot of resources though, he could have at least sent it to his friends before dying, you know, maybe they'd be able to hold, you know. If you don't know, you can press this button and send resources to your allies. And here I see um, Red grabbing, attacking, so I shift the boys, choose some mercs. As you can see, these mercs are really strong, in fact, they're the reason why I picked Egypt. You know, they cost no population and you can just shit them out. This is a devastating loss for Red, I mean... Look at Red's eco, he has like 26 villagers. That'll take him like another 20 minutes to rebuild that army. So it's pretty much over for him. Oh. My game out of sync. Okay, well... Okay, at this point I'll tell you guys the rest, I won that game, I killed Blue and Teal, so yeah, that was my 1v3 against Noobs, thanks for watching.